I forgot to say it. I'm gonna. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. So if you like any of those things or all of those things, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Tap the notification bell and it will alert you every single time there's a new video or a post on this channel. If you are here to see my pics, or some of my picks. For spring fragrances, please continue to watch. I have about 10 or so to share with you today. You guys, I will be covering spring fragrances all spring long. I will bring you some new ones. I will bring you some favorites. I will bring you some niche, some designer. You name it, we're gonna be covering spring fragrances all spring long. Without further ado, we are going to jump right in. This blouse, I know I'm going to be axed. It is from Zara. It is not new, you guys. It's about two, three years old. I can't keep up, okay? Everything that I am sharing with you today will be linked in the description box below so make sure you check out the description box because it is lit I do have discount codes okay hello for some of these fragrances so you don't want to miss it so make sure you check out the description box we are jumping in in five four three two right now coming in in a spot that I am choosing for spring is this one here this is Idola I talk about this fragrance every spring I talk about it all the time it is a beautiful fragrance this is the one that Big Beard Business collaborated with Navidus Parfum and they came together and this is a fragrance and I always tell you guys that this this fragrance gives me Delina vibes. It's a very pretty girl, feminine, girly, sexy, even date night or date day fragrance. It's perfect for spring. It's perfect for summer. You can actually wear it year round. It's just a beautiful fragrance. I do have a discount code for this one, you guys. It is so super, super good. If you love Delina, you will definitely love this. A few of the notes, you guys, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on notes, but you know I'm gonna give you a few. You have in your top notes, you have orange, you have bergamot, you have French rose, jasmine, you have vanilla, cedarwood, Haitian vetiver. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I highly recommend, if you have not got this or got a whiff of it, I would highly recommend doing so. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, and that is Idola by Navidus Parfum. I move on. Now, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you have been here before and you know that you know that you know, you already knew that Gucci Bloom was gonna be in here. I am a fan of Gucci Bloom. Two bros, white floral powdery. It's got some ray goon or ragoon creepers in it. What that is, I don't know, you guys, but it's an amazing fragrance. I tell you about this fragrance ever since it has ever even come out. What was it, 2017, I believe? Yes, the bottle's beautiful. It's just very simplistic, but very chic in my opinion. And I love this. It is a beautiful fragrance. It is very, very long lasting. This gets on my body. It holds it tight. It never lets it go. Places you would wear this fragrance to. Um, I get definitely sophisticated, elegant. I get brunch. I get maybe I'm shopping. Uh, a Saturday, a, a girl's day out, something like that. Do you get a lot of sexy from it? A little bit, but more than anything, I get classy, sophistication, like pretty girl, feminine, pretty woman. You know, I get those vibes from it, and that is Gucci Bloom. I move on. Now you know, <laughs> okay? The inspiration for the look, hello, it was Delita. This is La Rose. This is more of a watery fragrance. It is super, super beautiful, very long lasting, even though it's more watery, in my opinion. It does smell, you know, reminisce to Delina, but at the same time, it's perfect for spring. It's perfect for summer. It's lighter. The the tart sour note isn't as prominent in this fragrance as it is in Delina. The longevity, it's a moderate fragrance. It's not a beast like Delina, but it is a moderate. It is gonna give you a good six to seven hours depending on how you spray. If you can see the dent in the bottle, I go in, I spray very hard. I really reach for this during the spring and the summer. It's very light, it's airy, it's feminine, it's pretty. It's one of those scents that you can just reach for, grab and go. It's an easy reach during this time of year. Just a beautiful fragrance. The bottle itself is absolutely gorgeous. We always talk about how beautiful Delina's bottles are and how gorgeous they are and how they look. A few of the notes, lychee, pear, bergamot, Turkish rose. It does have Haitian vetiver in it as well. It is a simply beautiful fragrance. You cannot go wrong with this. Like I said, if you want something, like I said, to just picnic time, you're going to the park. There's a lot of outdoor events. When you think of spring, you think of flowers and roses and like little waters. You get, uh, what is it? 
June gloom and you get the spring weather where you get a lot of rainy weather sometimes. This is a beautiful fragrance that will take you into spring all the way into summer. I move on. Sticking with perfumes, Damali. Okay, we are talking this time about Meliora. This is a beautiful fragrance that's newly added in my collection and it is simply gorgeous. It is perfect for spring. It's very fruity rose fragrance, um, black currant, raspberry. It's got berries in the beginning. Very fun, very fruity, very playful. It's a little, I would you say spicy? Can I say that? A little bit. It's got some depth to it. It's not, you know, as pronounced as Delina and it's not as long lasting as Delina, but it does give a nice moderate wear. It does give a good six to seven hours, as I'm saying when it comes to moderate longevity. It's a beautiful fragrance. This is something too that you would wear on a day date, perhaps even a light evening date if you wanted to. Ylang Ylang, it's got Lily of the Valley, some vanilla, musk, like I said in the beginning, it's got the berry notes, it's got black currant, it's a beautiful fragrance. I would definitely say it's worth getting a whiff of. If you don't have this in your collection already, it is one of Perfumes de Molly's popular fragrances, so you might already own this one, but this is one that I am definitely looking forward to rocking all spring. I move on. This one I was already playing with, to be honest with you, just a quick 2.5. I was playing with this before spring because it's just that good, and it's one of those uh, fragrances that make you happy. It uplifts your mood. It makes you like, you know, just like in a jovial spirit. So for that alone, I love reaching and playing with this fragrance and that is Meliora. I move on. Let's talk about this no stand fragrance and that is this one here. This is Idol. This is the original. The intense is just as beautiful. I didn't feel a need to pick it up with having the original already. If someone gifted it to me, I'd gladly take it, rock it, and spray it. But um, I wouldn't go out and purchase it. I have the original right here and this is a beautiful fragrance. If you know the story, you guys, I went to the mall to see what all the hype was about. Picked it up, smelled it. I was like, oh yeah, it's good, it's good. Went to go get my nails done. It drove me crazy. I was like, oh, Oh my gosh, it is purring. It smells so amazing. I'm in there getting my nails done. Even when I went to go wash my hands and come back so that she can finish painting them, I was like, I still smell it. So needless to say, as soon as I left the nail appointment, got in my car, I drove right back to the store, picked it up and purchased it right then and there. They did give me a nice stand that goes with it. I know a lot of you are always asking me, Sheree, how is that stand um, standing with your adult? Uh, I got it from the Macy's when I went. It was purchased with it and it has a nice stand. So it stands like this. So I love that for that. I would say check Lancome. Check the Lancome counter. They may have a way to tell you how to get them or they may have some at the store. A few of the notes in this fragrance, you guys, jasmine, citrus, rose, it's a chapera cord. Hopefully I said that right. If I didn't, you already know. She's trying. Anyways, um, yeah, it's a very sophisticated, classy, elegant, woman, boss, feminine fragrance. At the same time, I get you can wear this winter, spring, summer, fall, however it is beautiful in the spring. But I live here in LA, so it really doesn't really get that cold where I would say I can't reach for this. I can pretty much reach for all of my fragrances year round. This is really good. Now I will say on me, this is extremely long lasting. I'm almost gonna even say beast mode. I do overspray, I do spray heavy, I do spray everywhere. I do moisturize before I spray, which helps with longevity. But this fragrance doesn't really need any help. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It's long lasting, it stays on its own. It makes me feel classy, sophisticated, but with a little bit of touch of an edge. I move on. Now, you guys know that, if you know, if you're new to the channel, welcome again. And let me catch you up to speed. And if you are returning, you are so appreciated. And you know that I've been on the hunt for about almost a year now. What would you guys say, a year? How long has it been? I've been looking for rose fragrances just like crazy. I'm obsessed with rose, I guess, but a certain kind of rose. I don't want it too rose. I don't want it too old. I don't want it too stuffy. I don't want it too, airy, I don't want it too pretty. I needed to have some sexy, some spice, some depth, some um, some oak moss. So, uh. I just need to make my own rose fragrance. But anyways, I'm talking to you about this one here from Mason Francis Kirk John. This is Ella Rose. And this is a beautiful, wet, rose in my opinion if you've watched videos before where i've spoken about this i tell you that this reminds me of the rose that you would pick up at the nurseries when you go and it's early in the morning and they have the baby brides in there is that what they're called baby bride oh okay. girl bridesmaids i don't know you know those little white flowers you guys hello you know what i'm talking about those little white flowers right and then it's kind of wet and the plastic is still on it that's the kind of rose it smells like like a red one um like a pink one a lighter pink one. It's just a true rose fragrance. And the thing about it that's so um, 
unique and fascinating and different about it to me is that this rose fragrance, <laughs> I get so passionate about it. I love this fragrance. Um, it, you could smell the green stem. You guys know how you get the long stem roses if you're a rose girl, rose guy, whatever, okay? If you like roses, you know when you get the green stem on it, you can kind of still smell the stem that's attached to the rose. This fragrance captures all of that. It is so beautifully, beautifully done. Mason Francis Kirkjohn, you did that with this. He captured the rose and essence and this flat and this fragrance oh my gosh it is so good i don't know why i don't reach for you more this is simply beautiful it's gorgeous if you are someone who doesn't want a loud you know hit you before you get to the door this is a way to go if you're working in close quarters with someone this would be a per appropriate work scent signature scent um is it sexy it's a first date kind of sexy and i know one of you asked me a few of you asked me can i do a first date video Yes, I'm working on it. This is going in there. This will be perfect to meet the parents, perfect on a first date, perfect to say, I know you, but I don't know if I wanna go there with you. You know what I mean? This is something you would wear. Nice, pleasant, pretty, feminine, girly, um, but you wanna smell good, classy, and inviting. It's elegant, it's romantic even. You know what I mean? It's one of those. Girl, let it go. This right here is good, good, needless to say. Now, when it comes to performance and longevity, it's not a beast, okay? It's a lighter fragrance, four or five hours tops for me. And I spray heavy. It's not like I said, gonna give you eight, nine, 10 hours. I haven't got that from it. I haven't experienced that from it. Four or five hours and that's spraying heavy, but it's definitely worth the whiff, especially if you like rose. I move on. A very elegant, pretty rose, not an old stuffy, you know, suffocate me out rose. Okay, I move on. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here because I've been talking about this fragrance like crazy, but I wanted to put it in here because I know I have some friends here on YouTube that love sweet syrupy fragrances or that are really, you know, some that are not my favorite because I don't really like a sweet, sweet fragrance. I just told you I want it hot, I want it heavy, I want it strong. Okay, I want some birch, oak moss, and leather in there. And that's okay if it doesn't have it. But I thought I'd share this one here. Uh, remember I told you this was gifted over by the brand and this is Flower Bomb, but this is Ruby Orchid. Uh, it has peach in it. What are the notes in here? It has peach, orchid, vanilla. It's powdery, it's fruity, it's floral. It's even gourmand even. It's kind of syrupy to me. I know some of you asked me, Shrey, what syrupy fragrances would you recommend? I don't really know. I don't really like syrupy fragrances, but I think this one is kind of syrupy. I mean, I guess it just depends on what type. This has a longevity that is just unreal. I wore this a few times because I wanted to test it out. So I have wore it. I wore it out to brunch. I did a good 10, 12 hours. This is a great longevity fragrance. It projects. It's got a great sillage. It lasts. It's beautiful. The bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I love their fragrances in general. Flower Bomb will always be my fave. But this one here is nice. I told you guys, and I'm going to stand by what I say. I probably would have not gone out and purchased this because I did smell this when it first came out in Sephora. And it just wasn't a favorite. It wasn't enough for me to purchase it. I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance, but having Flower Bomb already in my collection and a backup to a backup and a backup of Flower Bomb, I didn't feel the need to buy this. But if someone gifted it to me as they did, I would be more than happy to rock it and spray it. And so I will be rocking and spraying this all spring long. It's a beautiful fragrance. It's very sexy and the longevity is unreal. And for that, I'll rock it. So if you haven't tried it, I'd highly recommend Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. I was gonna say flower bomb. I move on. Oh my gosh, now this fragrance makes me so happy. And oh my gosh, I just feel like I keep saying it. You guys, okay? I, I feel like I'm talking to the friends, but we got new friends. I see how many of you, oh my gosh, I forgot to say it. I'm going on another tangent. hold up. You guys, we hit 40K. Look down, look down, look down. Do you see it? We hit 40K. Yes, we did. And I say we because I'm bringing the content, but you're clicking on it, you're sharing it, you're watching it, you're leaving your comments, you are engaging. And because of you, the algorithm is pushing it out and we are reaching more people and more people are subscribing. So that is why I keep saying to all the new subscribers and all the returning subscribers, so, uh, and another thing I can't really talk that much, especially when I get excited, but to all the new subscribers and all the returning subscribers, I am so happy to see you. And we did it, you guys. We are at 40K and we are still growing. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's why I have to keep telling the story, okay? So that everybody's in the same place. Okay, anyways. YSL Mon Paris. It's a beautiful fragrance. Now, you know, when I first got this, I was like, what in the world? Cause it did not last at all. Oh my gosh, I can spray this and spray, I could spray this right now. It'd be gone probably by the time the video over not really but really 
but it's a beautiful fragrance. And I'm gonna say this, it's very berry-esque, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, I don't know, it's just very berry, it's very beautiful. It would be a beautiful bridal scent, uh, like I said, wedding day scent, a beautiful scent to wear to a spring wedding or a garden wedding or a summer wedding. It is just a really beautiful, beautiful fragrance. If you spray heavy, and I mean heavy, and you put like your moisturizers on, your body cream, you can get probably about a five and a half, if you push it, maybe six hours out of it and spray your clothes, but don't damage them if they don't stain. I spray my clothes all the time. You can get that out of it. It is such a gorgeous fragrance. Not a deep, dark Tom Ford kind of sexy. More of a um, romantic, pretty girl. <laughs> it wasn't that funny, but I last. I gave you a chuckle. It's one of those. Very pretty girl, very whimsical, very happy. Um, what else would you say? Brunch, shopping, but you can. Another one that you can wear on the first date. Another one you can wear to meet the family. Another one that's not gonna be off-putting. Another signature scent worthy for work if you wanted to wear it to work. It's a beautiful fragrance and it is, it is, it's a romantic kind of sexy. Not a deep, dark sexy, but definitely a romantic kind of sexy. Just remember when spraying this, if you wanted to project last and you wanted to stand out, you will need to spray a little heavy. I'm just gonna say that, especially for me. I like to smell my fragrances when I walk in the door, before I walk in the door, so I always spray heavy. Just a fun fact about me. I move on. Another one, that's, another one. Have you guys seen that TikTok? Another one, another one, another one. It's almost like DJ Khaled, and another one, okay to the video. Twilly D Hermes, Eau Privé. I hope I said that right. I think I did, I think I did that. Eau Privé. How did I do it? If I did good, just leave a heart in the comment section. And if you're just gonna give me a heart for trying, then do that too, okay? Cause she's trying. Anyways, Twilly D Hermes, Eau Privé. This is beautiful. This is like a, a spicy floral. It's a spicy floral, it's sexy, it's pretty, it's long lasting. When I say long lasting, this is gonna give you a good six to seven hours. Spray a little heavy. Uh, spray your clothes, it's got some patchouli in it. It's a woody fragrance, it's a pink pepper, it's spicy, it's pretty, it's pretty. Oh, and there's something in it, it's kind of woody down in the base. It's a beautiful fragrance. If you like Twilly D Hermes and you wear that, the one with the ginger note, the original, and you want something for spring in that same caliber, same family sort of kinda, but just with a more of a rose twist, a pink pepper, not ginger, but think of a pink peppercorn, like spicy, it's vibrant. What did I write down? It's vibrant, it's elegant, it's happy, it's upbeat, it's pretty. It's kinda sexy and a soapy, clean, fresh, rosy, pretty, put it on, I'm a rocket kind of way. Think about this, an all white outfit. Of course it's gotta be white, you guys, it's my favorite color, hello. An all white outfit, right? And maybe something with some, um, some, some jewelry on, gold, of course, what other color would it be? With a nice chic bag and maybe something that's not too tightly fitted, but something that's kind of just like gracing, like gauze when you walk and the wind is blowing. You've got a nice hat on and some big oversized sunnies. <laughs> Growl, oh my God, you are doing it. You guys, this fragrance is meant for that, okay? I'm just saying, that's where it took me to, that's where it transported me to. For that, I absolutely love it. I reach for this, it's a weekend fragrance for me. I move on, a daytime weekend fragrance for me. Something you would wear to like a winery, out with the growls, you know, on a boat ride, whatever you do, whatever you do, whatever you do. I move on, I move on. Another one, okay, and another one is this one here. I talk to you about this all the time. I wear this year round, doesn't matter, winter, spring, summer, fall. This is Chan's Utandra, and that is by Chanel Dwali. Of course, of course we were gonna have a Chanel in here. This one here is really good, it's long lasting. I tell you that I do prefer the EDP over the EDT, although the EDT is really nice, it's a bit lighter. It's not as warm, in my opinion, as this one here, but this one is my favorite, so I opt for this. Grapefruit, rose, jasmine, white musk. It's pretty, it's kind of fruity, kind of florally, kind of powdery. Yes, it has the Chanel DNA in it, you guys, it does. It's a very girly, feminine, soft, pretty, dainty, clean clean, extremely long lasting fragrance. How about that? Signature scent worthy, work worthy, church, brunch, anywhere that a woman goes, this fragrance will fit the bill for that. Even if you wanted to just get out of the shower, spray it and go run some errands and go over to the Whole Foods or the Trader Joe's or Target or Target. Okay, it's, it's fitting for all of that. Of course you could wear a uh, Chanel to Target. Why not? Why would you not? Do not wait to wear your gut fragrances. Life is short, okay? Spray what makes you happy. We have them, let's use them. I'm all about putting dents in my bottles this year. That's what we're doing. We are denting up the bottles this year. Denting up, can I say that? I did. Anyways, you guys, this one is this one here. Um, 
I think I told you everything about it already. Beautiful bottle. Like I said, there's two. There's an EDP and an EDT. This is the EDP Duolane. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I move on. And that is it. Those are the spring fragrances that I'll be looking forward to rocking this spring. Like I said, a lot of these, you guys, I've already been rocking because it's just been here. I told you we didn't really get winter. We went right over to Swinter, which is spring and winter mix. One day it was cold, one day it was hot, one day it hell, one day it rained, and then it was 80. So I call it Swinter. So I'm reaching for these. As I stated, I will be going out looking at new fragrances for spring, seeing what's new, what's exciting. I will come back and tell you about them. I'm not gonna be buying them. We already know if I don't love it, I don't buy it. But I do wanna share them with you. So I will look out for those videos. Like I said, I'll be covering spring fragrances all spring long. I'll be covering some spring date night fragrances. Um, you know, and the typical things that we do, brunch, shopping, anything like that. Some heavy hitter spring fragrances because just because it's spring, I don't think the fragrances have to get light, dull, and boring. You know, especially for one like me. Like even if it's spring and it's like, you know, flow, flow florally or flowery. What is it? Florally? Yeah. Um, I, I still want to be able to smell my fragrance. Like I still want to walk in and make a statement. I still want to walk in and be like, hello, Dwellin. I am here. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be like, oh my gosh, you smell nice. There are the certain time and places that I do have those occasions, but not very often. Most of the time, I want you to smell me before I arrive. Anyways, you guys, I hope this video has been helpful, informative, and entertaining. If you enjoyed the vibe and the content, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Tap the notification bell. Don't stop there. Come over and follow me over on Instagram. When you don't see me here, I'm always on Instagram. I would love for you to stop in the DM and say hi. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, darlings. Thanks for watching. Bye.